Hello guys, uh, welcome back to my channel Mason African Motives are still working on engineering science N2 uh, So we are having the question which is on heat from one of the question papers uh, That is April 2021. So if you're new to my channel You can consider subscribing so that you won't miss any of the classes that you shall be having from Mason African Motives All right, so the first question that you're given on question number seven is to define heat value Okay, so to define the heat value and we've got two marks for that. Okay, so I'm having this formula I think it's going to be helpful for us for the heat value, which is uh, It is the amount of heat set free or generated when a unit quantity of the combustible burns out completely at normal temperature and Pressure, okay, so the heat value is uh, actually taken from uh, a which is uh, equivalent to the mass times the heat value all right so this is what you're actually having and the heat value you'll be given this and it's in joules per kg normally mega joules per kg all right so that is uh, what you're going to have for the heat value so as the definition for that all right so on uh, 7.2 you're given that a mass of 5 kg of core is used to heat a container take note you're hitting a container with 80 kgs of water that is 80 kgs of water all right so we've got two things here we have got uh, the fuel which is heating which is in this case we have got the coal all right and we have got uh, the water which is being heated all right so these are the two things that you're having so on the coal we are given the mass of the coal which is five kgs all right so we've got mass of coal which is equivalent to 5 kgs all right then on the water part we've got 80 kgs of water so we've got the mass of water which is uh, 80 kgs all right then um, this water is being it was heated from take note from means that is where you are starting the starting point or the beginning okay where you are beginning so this is t1 2 that is where you are ending the end value so this is t1 this is t2 all right so t1 is equivalent to 30 degrees for this water and t2 the second temperature which is the final temperature is 70 degrees celsius all right so that is what the information that you're given there all right the first question is Calculate the following the energy released by the coal. Take note, you're talking about the coal, the fuel that was used. Okay, if you consider the definition that we talked about, I wrote that the energy is equivalent to mass times heat values. Okay, so we can use this formula on 7.21. Say that the energy is equivalent to mass times the heat value using the mass of what of the fuel which is the mass of coal all right so it's going to be 5 kgs multiplied by the heat value the heat value of what of the fuel that is used which is coal so you're going to obtain uh, this heat value it's given uh, from your question paper so it's 30 uh, but let me just show you so that you don't uh, okay you don't have any confusion here on the heat value of coal you are given 30 megajoules per kg okay that's 30 megajoules per kg so it's going to be by 30 megajoule per kg like this all right now you can multiply the two from your calculator if you multiply properly you're going to obtain 150 megajoule per kg all right so this is what you're going to obtain from your calculator so that's how they actually ask these questions um, on heat all right another question so on 7.22 where you're asked to calculate the heat gained by water which means you're working with water so using this information on water how can we calculate the heat that was gained by water okay remember heat for water is equivalent to okay this is 7.22 heat is equivalent to mass times the specific heat capacity of water times the change in temperature all right so this is the mass of water the specific heat capacity of water 
times the temperature change where we know that the temperature change means t2 minus t1 that is what it means all right so we are going to just substitute the values the mass that you're talking about take note we are talking about okay sorry i want to bring the question paper we are talking about the heat gained by water so you're supposed to use the mass of water the specific heat capacity of water everything is supposed to be about what about water so on the information of the water this is what you have 80 kgs so you see the advantage of writing your information down so you've got 80 kgs of water multiplied by the specific heat capacity of water uh, this one you are given also from your question paper uh, let me just show you so that you don't confuse guys in exam the specific heat capacity of water here is 4187 joule per kg per, per kg degree celsius okay so it's 4187 all right 4187 multiply by change in t we said is t2 minus t1 so you can open bracket and subtract this is your T2, 70, your T1 is 30, all right? So you can substitute 70 minus 30 like this, all right? So from this information, you are supposed to use a calculator. So if you use a calculator properly, this is the value that you're going to obtain, 1398400. Okay, it's because here I'm having it too much light, so that is why uh, if I represent the calculator, look, it's too much light, but that is what you're going to obtain there, all right? So, um, this is uh, the energy, remember, uh, the energy that is being obtained, which is supposed to be in joules, okay. So, this one is supposed to be just joules, per kg, no, not per kg, just joules, 150 mega joules like that is fine, okay, it's just fine like that, all right. So, it's the same thing here, since this one is, I wrote it in mega joules. I can also try to write this in mega joules, okay? Remember, mega means uh, times 10 to the power of what? Of 6. So I'm supposed to move 6 commas. These, these are joules like this, but I'm supposed to, okay, maybe joules like this. Yeah, I, mean, I don't know how you pronounce it, but this, that's how you pronounce it, like joules, okay? So to obtain to the power 6, I'm supposed to move 6 commas, 1, 2, 3, four five six or you just divide by six or in your calculator okay so you're going to obtain 13 comma three nine eight four so these zeros they're not important okay mega joules okay this is what you're going to obtain as the um, it that was gained by the water because it gained the temperature increased so it's a, it's a gain all right so that's what we had and uh, that's how they asked these questions so guys as you can see these questions they need you to be very very careful when you're answering them all right so another question is the efficiency of the heating system on 7.23 the efficiency of the heating system all right we know that um let me explain this from the formula let me not rush we know that efficiency is equivalent to always it's all about the output it can be whatever output of whatever input but here we are given it it was all about energy heat and so it's all about energy so if it is energy it's going to be energy out over the energy in but how do i know that this is the energy out and this is the energy in all right the energy out guys is the one that is being gained okay which was gained by water the energy in is the one that is being released to you are releasing you release what you you have which is the input is the one that you release so you release what you have then the output is what you have gained all right so that means it's going to be easier what what did we gain here yeah. the heat gained by water that is what you're going to have as your output okay which is this one on uh, the heat remember the heat gained by water this is what you obtained the heat gained by water 13 comma okay this one efficiency you multiply by percent remember that don't forget okay so it's three comma three nine eight four 
over these are mega jaws like this okay over the one that was uh, being released which is uh, the first one that is 150 mega joules so it's 150 these are mega joules again okay multiply by 100 percent so as you can see these units are the same so they can actually cancel so make sure you work with same units here same unit so that you can cancel these okay so using your calculator you're supposed to divide this and multiply by 100 so you're supposed to obtain something like 8.93 percent all right which is the efficiency is it 8.93 or 89.93 supposed to be 8.93 it's because this calculator guys is it's not showing properly because of what because of the display that i'm having here so that's why i'm not indicating this but it's 8,93. All right. So that is what you're going to obtain from the calculator. Then uh, let's see another question, which was the last question. Actually, it's uh, talking about pressure there, the gauge pressure on 7.3, the gauge, the gauge pressure at the bottom of a water tank. Take note, this is at the bottom of a water tank is 60,4 kilopascals. Determine the height of the water in the tank. Okay, we know that. Uh, if it is at the bottom there the gauge pressure is going to be given by rho gh okay so pressure will be equivalent to rho gh so this is rho like this which means what the density of water the density okay so you got the density of water so it's a matter of substitution there was the question is asking us to determine the height we've got the pressure and the density is there so you can just make the height the subject so to make the height i'm going to divide by by rho gh this one like this so this is pressure this is not it's like this okay so you're going to divide by rho g so h is equal to the pressure over rho g all right so i can just substitute here density gravitational acceleration and the pressure okay so this pressure should be in pascals but here it's kilo Remember, kilo means thousand. Kilo, that's a thousand, which means times 10 to the power of three. That's kilo, okay? So it's going to be 60, comma four times 10 to the power of three, like this, all right? So it's a matter of substitution here. Let's substitute over the row here, which is the density of water. So this one, you do not worry about it because you are given you are given this one the density of water which is uh, 1000 kgs per cubic meter so you've got 1000 kgs which is 1000 there multiply by g you know this is the gravitational acceleration of 9,8 all right so you have made h to be the subject which h is the height and remember height is measured in meters so you can actually use your calculator to simplify this by making h use your calculator you're going to obtain something like 6,163 meters all right so you're supposed to use a calculator properly guys okay so that's how they actually ask these questions that's how they ask these questions so that's a uh, hit for you um question on hit uh from uh, the question paper so as i told you guys it's important that you write the information down this information is very, very important. Make sure that you indicate what you have. You have got the call and the water. You indicate the information like that. It's going to be easier for you. Okay, so that's it, guys, from Mason African Motives. Till we meet again.